Greetings, I'm here with a quick little demo just to show you how to re-download Bookshelf if you ever need to. A few people have reported that for whatever reason iTunes can't sync uh, the app after they've purchased it. They get all sorts of nasty error numbers and messages and things. Uh, there seem to be some bugs in the iTunes iPhone syncing for applications. I've had this happen to me with both Bookshelf and with lots of other applications that I've installed. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to fix. Just in your iTunes application, go to Applications, find the iPhone icon here for Bookshelf. You want to right-click on it with your mouse, choose Delete, and then it'll ask you if you're sure you want to remove it from your library. Go ahead and choose Remove. I'm going to choose Cancel because I'm okay at the moment. And it should disappear from this list. Then you want to go into the iTunes Store, do the search, whatever you need to do to find Bookshelf, and then go ahead and click the Buy app. Uh, of course, it wants your password. Uh, now, I promise you this isn't just a ploy by me to get more money out of you. Um, it looks to all the world like I'm purchasing the app, but as you can see, I get this confirmation. I'll say, yes, I want to buy it again. And then at the very last minute, you get this silly dialogue that says you've already purchased this item and you can download it again for free. I have no idea why Apple has designed the system the way that they have. They've had a couple of updates, both with iTunes and with the App Store on the iPhone. It still works the same way. Uh, they require you to go through the whole rigmarole of purchasing before they finally tell you, oops, no, sorry, you already bought it, you don't have to pay again. Um, so you hit OK. And now it says purchasing again, and it's downloading the app. It's really silly that it makes you go through this, but it has downloaded the app, and I've not had anyone, including myself, uh, be double-charged for doing that. So if you do have problems, various error messages, whatever, you can go ahead and do that without any fear of being double-charged. Uh, the same thing will happen if you do it from the App Store on your phone. It'll look exactly the same. So hopefully you'd never have to do that, but if you do, uh, just know that you can re-download and quote-unquote purchase the app a second time without ever getting charged for it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email support at iPhone Bookshelf. If that process doesn't get the app working, unfortunately the best I'll be able to tell you, even if you email me, is contact uh, iTunes support. Developers really have no control over the installation process. If anything goes wrong with the DRM, which is basically what this process is, uh, unfortunately, my hands are tied, so uh, Apple would have to be the one to help you with that. But everyone who's tried this process, it's worked afterwards. Hopefully, it works for you.